Hey guys, welcome back. So, well, welcome back to Xeno Gears, I should say, not just welcome back. I always say the name of the game. <laughs> okay. Anyways, in the last episode, we took on Calamity. <laughs> Calamity Ganon, sure. We took on Calamity Ganon. <laughs> and, uh, basically, that was a easy fight. I was working myself up for it. I was like, oh no, I don't want to die. I don't want to die on camera and embarrass myself. But it was actually pretty damn easy. Uh, yeah. I frick- Ah, oh, I'm loving this Let's Play, guys. I'm I'm actually so into this right now. I loved my Xenoblade Let's Play, but after doing it for so long, it's like, ah, oh, it feels so nice doing something different. I know it's still in the same series, but- Fuck, this is awesome. Wow, look at the frickin'... <laughs> Bart said wow too, that's hilarious. Uh, look at the frickin'... That's beautiful, actually. That's a... that's art. Anyways. Whoa! I never thought we'd end up here. Where are we? You see the Twin Mountains all the way over there? That's where Bledovic... The royal capital of Ave and the Fatima Castle are located. Currently, there's no king living there, though. Anyway, that's my old hometown. Hometown? Uh, I'd like to go ahead and settle our dispute, but... Considering how close we are to the capital of Ave, uh, we'd probably get caught. Hey, stop looking so glum, chum. Uh, I guess I'll have to get you back to your friends soon, or you'll die from fretting or something. Anyway, the rendezvous point with the Yggdrasil is right over there. Don't worry, you'll be meeting your friend in no time at all. Poor Faye. He, he's been away from Doc for too long. He's getting worried. Oh shit, we're back? Just like that? Faye, I'm so worried about you. The dark. Oh, welcome to the sand cruise of the Yggdrasil. Uh, we apologize for the earlier incident. I'm sure everyone has already had the courtesy to introduce themselves. Uh, but allow me to introduce the sand pirate's leader, Master Bartholomew. By the way, may I ask, young master, did you apologize to Master Fay? Uh, what? Uh, yeah, I told him I was, uh, wrong, right? Uh, just telling someone you were wrong after the event isn't going to solve everything, young master. Uh, I'm sorry, I've delayed introducing myself. Uh, my name is Sigurd, the first mate of the Sand Cruiser. Well then, please let me know if you need anything. <laughs> That's the situation. Uh, so now, forgive me, will ya? Young master, stay out of mischief. Ouch, ouch, ouch! Don't pull my ears! Uh, let us go and wait in the cabin until we arrive. It is well made and, uh, comfortable. What is wrong? You look down. No. Well... Something happened? No, nothing. Oh, Faye. Nothing never means nothing. Don't you know that? But yeah, here we are. We're in the Yggdrasil. The frickin' giant sand cruiser that Bart and his crew owns. Uh... Look at this. This is the... This is so cool. Uh, when I first played this game, I thought this was the shit. This is a gear hanger, so you can actually go and, like, check out your gears. Besides just riding around in them. Uh, what do you want to do? View gear from here. And yeah, you can frickin' view the gears and everything. From all sorts of different angles. <laughs> from the front. There he is! Well tall. And... If I'm correct, there's someone around here. Right, this guy. Want to rename this gear? Uh, not right now, but 
This is actually what I wanted to mention to you guys. Anybody who's watching this and is watching this part, uh, go down to the comments below and feel free to shoot me some names for gears. If you want Welthall to have a certain name, if you want Brigandier to have a certain name, and uh, all the other gears in the game too, like Ellie's gear. Uh, there's a bunch of gears in this game that we aren't at yet, but if there's any names you want in particular, go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to rename the gears after <laughs> whatever the hell you guys come up with. I figured that would be fun, I don't know, you can't really rename the characters in this game like you can in like uh, Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy, so yeah. If you're enjoying this Let's Play, go ahead. Frickin' shoot some names down below and I'll... I'll... Oh shit, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I'll be sure to frickin'... <laughs> I'll be sure to rename them to uh, whatever name you want. But yeah, this is Brigandier here. Welltall's over there. Uh... Oh, and by the way, if none of you guys end up coming with names, <laughs> if you guys... Ah, oh, I, I frickin' said that wrong. If you guys don't end up commenting down names, I'm probably gonna make some up myself. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to come up with some interesting names. I don't just want them to be, uh, their base names, if you know what I mean. Wait, can we not rename this one? Or is he on the other side? Oh, he's on the other side. Okay. I was like, oh no, can we only need rename Welltall? <laughs> oh no. But yeah, uh, I'll say it again. Go ahead, frickin' comment down below some names, and I'll be sure to rename them. But anyways, let's move on from that. Uh, hey, did you see this month's edition of the Gear Fan Magazine? They say hovering is all the rage right now. Until a while back, it used to be special equipment that only the young master had equipped on his gear. Interesting. Did Lin craft the flight <laughs> mechanic? <laughs> Lin! Where's Lin? Uh... I don't think we can really do too much right now. Uh... Armor. MS-9! Oh my god, we can upgrade them even further now? I don't got the damn money for all this. Oh damn, this is a... Uh... It's a hard call. <laughs> I, I, jeez. Wait. Do you do you get money back on like your old parts? Hold on. Sure, screw it. Well, tall, you can have that. Uh, we only have five hundred gold left. Isn't that just great? Wait! Did I have enough for that? How the fuck did I have enough for that? Am I... Oh my god. I'm like losing my mind, I think. I thought I didn't have enough money. Huh. Okay, so they're both equipped with the MS-9. Uh... Huh, okay, I guess that's all we can do. Wait, can we tune up? Are we... are they max health? No, they're not freaking tuned up. I got a... Where is it? Fuel. HP and fuel. Oh no, I don't have enough money to refuel. God damn, I'm broke. Okay. Wait, what if I sell some stuff? Sorry guys, I know we're just kind of in the menus right now, but fuck. We don't really need extra ARs, like the regular ones. As long as we have like the upgraded versions, I think we're okay. I just need money to freaking refuel. I don't have enough to- oh my god! Fuck it! Screw it! We're leaving! 
God damn, I'm so broke in this game. <laughs> I feel like I need to grind simply just to get money. This door leads to the hall. Okay, that's where we need to go. This is really o the only way to go from uh, the gear hangar. There isn't like any other doors that lead anywhere else. Um, I guess we could walk around a little bit. Um, okay. Okay, this is like the resting room. This is where we rest. Do you want to rest too? Sure. Get our health up a little bit. Alright. See ya. Peace out, dude. And <laughs> I love it. We got people up here too that are just like chilling out. And I swear to God, if you look closely, I think this guy's like... Look at all the pictures of girls this guy's got up here. <laughs> the Mary Card Collection. I'm having a difficult time collecting them all. That's what you're doing. Okay, you're collecting cards of uh, girls. <laughs> this is cool. There's so much little detail in this place. I love it. Um, what about that guy by the door? What did he have to say? What? Why am I here? Can't we put that behind us? It's not like I'm being made to stand here as a punishment for not obeying lights out or anything like that. Is it? Beyond this door is the gear hanger. The gear shop is located in the gear hanger too. Ah, uh, now be careful. The gears are so big that you'll look very small and you might get lost. <laughs> You're not fucking kidding. Um... How about you? What? Why am I here? Well, never mind that. Uh, it's not like I'm hiding the fact that I broke the wall or anything. Oh, and by the way, you can go through the store to the gun room or down the stairs to the engine room. Did you punch a hole in the wall and you're just like hiding it now? That's funny. Uh, yeah, this submarine's freaking awesome. It's <laughs> it, it becomes home base, essentially. <laughs> uh, okay, this is like the dining room. This is the bar, the lounge. Damn, Bart, you've got a real nice setup here. I hope you're not too taken aback. Uh, lately, there are far too many barbarian, I, I mean, highly energetic lads around the young master. So, yours truly, who is in charge of the education, demanded to have this room created. But because of that, I ended up having to take a side job. <laughs> uh, how may I be of service? What do you got? I, it's not like I can buy fucking anything. I'm broke. I'm broke as a bee. I hope I could be a ser service again. Um, we got vending machines down here. Or a coffee machine. That's so cool. I never actually noticed it's a coffee machine. Okay, beyond there's the engine room. I don't really need to be down here. Uh, hold on. Oh yeah, I already talked to you. Duh. No! Get out of the menu. Oh, I was gonna talk to the guy standing by the tree. Oh, well. I think... Oh, my voice cracked. <laughs> I think the guy by the tree says something like, uh, that tree was planted at a certain time. Let me go check. Fuck it. I wanna... I wanna go see what he has to say. I remember him, him saying something about the tree being planted at a certain time. Yes, we're going all the way back here just to read this. Grow bigger! Grow! This tree was planted when the young master was born. I knew it was something like that. Uh, with it, our hopes and dreams grow to fruition too. Anyhow, the door next to you is the elevator. Use the switch inside to go up or down. Cool. Cool shit. That's literally all he had to say. Ah, oh, well. But yeah, this is the bridge in here. Uh, I think this is where we gotta go. I'll drop a save real quick. Okay. So here we are in the bridge. Let's see what these guys have to say. 
Ah, that Jericho. He lets the Yggdrasil drift so that the time and routes we take end up being off. Oh, Jericho. Do you want to see the ship's chart? Sure. <laughs> the tiny world map. It reminds me of Final Fantasy IX a little bit, how the game just starts off on a small continent and then branches off into this bigger world. Okay, so there's not too much interesting shit going on. While under the sand, there is nothing but static. As a matter of fact, there is nothing to do either. It's a lot harder to control the ship after the young master steered it. He's so reckless. I had competition going on with the young master. The other day to see who could tip the boat further. Old Maison was literally white as a sheet, saying all the teacups were destroyed. You guys are so reckless. Old Maison. <laughs> Old Maison. Oh, Franz. Franz has a little uh, pitcher next to him. He's got to be important. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize that you were there. Want to hear some hot sounds that I've recorded? Ah, uh, sure. The Franz Collection, number 24. Want to hear some more? No, enough already. You enjoy those noises? When it comes to cannons, you don't know where the shells will fly to until you've actually shot them. But they're suitable for the pirating trade because they're cheap yet intimidating. On the other hand, though, torpedoes blow everything to blazes and are downright expensive, too. Well, yeah. Did you see what Bart shot at the frickin' Ave tru Cruiser that we were on? Holy shit, that thing blew up so fast. This ship uses... Im what does that say? In innumerable effects? This ship uses innumerable effect wings to pulverize sand and wade through it. If our balance is lost, we roll over in the desert. It's all up to our skill. Well, Bart, Sigurd, you have a very interesting crew. We're almost at my hideout. Okay. We're going to your hideout next? Okay. Uh, we'll probably stop there for a while for supplies and repairs. Okay. Aw, oh, nice. Oh, wait, we're not actually... Ah... Uh... I'm not actually in control of this thing right now. It's auto-moving. Later on, we get to be in control of it, though. But yeah. We're off to Bart's hideout. We gotta relocate. We gotta figure out a plan. We gotta figure out a plan of action. Now that we're out of that damn sand cave. Oh, graphics. I love the graphics. I don't even care. They're so interesting. We're back. <laughs> well, Bart's back. <laughs> Good to see you back. Welcome back, Bart. Welcome back. Bart, what did you bring us? Uh, well, I've got a new model gear and two people that helped me out. Huh? A gear? How boring. Don't you have anything more interesting? Uh, <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Look, this is an amber I found in the stalactite cavern under the desert. It's rare to find one with a bug in it. Wow! Thanks, Bart! What's that? 
Let's go. We gotta show it off to everybody. Cute kids. Well then, I'm gonna tune up my gear a little. Uh, why don't you two go and have some tea with Old Maison? Uh, thanks, Old Maison. Oh, please, walk this way. For desert pirates, they're pretty, uh... They're not bad at all. I, that's what I thought the first time, at least, when I played this game the first time. I was like, hey, these guys are pretty legit. Uh, this is the residential section. Uh, walk this way. Why are we moving so slow? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, let's just follow him for now. There's a bunch of other rooms we can go into, but... I'm not worried about it right now. Uh, this is the dining hall. I'm sorry it's so gosh. Gosh! <laughs> Damn! Look at the freaking lounge or whatever this is. The kitchen, the dining room, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Oh, please, take a seat. Yes! There's a kettle and everything! Look at this! They're literally just gonna have tea and chill. I love it. Well, perhaps you would like some of my famous tea, Master Fay. Good doctor. <laughs> the cup just, like, hovered over to him. <laughs> young visitors are rare indeed, but uh, the young master must be very happy. If things were not normal, we wouldn't be living in the desert, but rather back in the royal palace. Royal palace? You mean that the young one is connected to the old Fatima dynasty? Uh, pardon? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm just a senile old fool who talks too much. Pay no attention to what I just said. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, that one-eyed youth does have a certain bearing. Oh, 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 well spoken, sir. Awfully good, for, awfully good of you to notice. If I may, I would like to tell you, uh, the young gent is the last forgotten reminder of the once proud Fatima dynasty. That is, before it was destroyed by Shere Khan's minions. Prince Bartholomew Fatima. That's right, motherfuckers. Bart is royalty. <laughs> Bartholomew? Ed Bart's... Ed Bart IV's successor? I'm sure that they announced Bartholomew died of an illness 12 years ago. Officially, yes. However, in reality, we rescued the young prince from Shakan's evil grasp. Then why must the prince, the rightful heir, Resort to piracy. Um... Since fleeing here, we have only had one wish. That the young master would grow up to be a great man. Not to... Reclaim the throne? That is correct. Of course, to say we have absolutely no desire to restore his rule would be a lie. We have plans for that as well. And, uh, part of those plans would be to include piracy? Well, yes, uh, but there is a reason for that. Both Ave and Kislev are devoted to excavating the ruins. Uh, each country's strength is increasing daily. Even if we could get to the help of all our comrades to start a revolution, the combined strength of all of us would still not be enough. We would certainly be suppressed by Shikan's guards in no time at all. We needed power. We tried excavating the ruins using the Yggdrasil, but it didn't work quite as well as we expected. Excavating requires tremendous amounts of time, labor, and capital. 
The best we can do with our sand cruiser is to find small items in the sand. And the piracy. <laughs> Satan's not too happy about the fact that they're illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about the law, Satan? You gotta do what's right sometimes, regardless of the law. Regardless of who gains the ruins technology, one thing is correct. Both Kislev and Abe will simply use that power to oppress the other. S yeah, like the people in power are freaking corrupted as fuck, so who even cares if- who gives a shit if they're pirates? <laughs> The people in power are way more corrupt than pirates ever would be. Both Gislev and Ave will simply use that power to oppress the other. I agreed with the young master's idea of creating a new power to balance things out a little. I see. It is far more effective to plunder from the shadows than to excavate the technology oneself. Of course, pillaging is an unpardonable act. However, for Ave, for Ignis, to continue like this. I'm sorry if it sounds rather self-righteous. That is something which outsiders like ourselves cannot comment on. From what you have told me, I feel that the result of what you are doing will be good. Seeing your children here tells me that. I am much relieved by your words. Another cup of tea? Yes, please. Thank you. At least Satan understands. I'm glad Satan gets it. Uh, you mentioned you had plans. Uh, why have you not put them into action? With Miss Margie imprisoned, we dare not do anything. Uh, she would not happen to be Nissan's. You are well informed, my dear doctor. She is the great mother, Marguerite of Nissan and the young master's cousin as well. Uh, why would Shikan take her captive? For the Fatima Jasper. The Fatima Jasper that is said to show where the great treasure is? My good doctor, you know an awful lot. I am most impressed. Oh, you do not like my tea, Master Fay. Uh, no, uh, I'm just not thirsty right now. Oh, well, we have no idea what the great treasure actually is. But it is said to be strong enough to save our kingdom if it is ever in plight. And, and Marguerite has the jasper that tells the location. Only half of it. To be, pre to be precise, the young master and Miss Marguerite each have half. Only by combining the two halves will anyone know where the treasure is. What exactly is the Fatima Jasper? When you say a half of the Jasper, I mean, I imagine some kind of necklace. Only the heirs to the Ave and Nissan know what it really looks like. I see. So that is why they have her locked up. My guess is that when they do find out, her chances of living are not... Uh, uh, I apologize. I, I simply... I mean... I was only supposing the worst case scenario. Oh wait, I read that wrong. I was only supposing the worst case. So please do not take it to heart. No, that is a terribly realistic scenario. Uh, uh, what exactly do you mean by great treasure? Well, I haven't the foggiest. The gear. He means the gear. It has to be it. Oh, yeah, the gear that, um... Uh, what's it called? The gear from Old Man Bal's story. The Omni Gear. Young Master, are the gears alright? <laughs> yeah. Even though they were sealed, sand's gotten into the joints. It's a pain in the neck to fix, so I'm having the crew take care of it now. My job is just to pilot them anyways. Besides, I'm bad with machines, so I just get in the way. Young master. Anyway, 
Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, whether the great treasure could be a gear. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, something like that is drawn in one of the Avi picture scrolls. Picture scrolls. Well, if you're if you're interested, then uh, let's go to the planning room. I'll show you what I mean, since you're my special guests. That sounds interesting. All right, Faye, <laughs> we better go join them. In the next episode, though, shit's getting long here. Holy fuck! In the next episode of Xeno Gears, guys, we will go see what Bart wants to show us in the planning room. Something about this ancient treasure, gear, or something. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.